Multi-location inventory allows you to easily split the inventory between several websites within one Magento installation. Let's say you have website A and website B that ship from different warehouses. But will you ever know if one of these warehouses runs out of a specific product? In default Magento, you never will, because it tracks all inventory under one roof. Here's when multi-location inventory can help. You can use it to create separate inventories for website A and website B, and manage them effectively within one Magento installation. Because multi-location inventory allows you to split inventory on the website level, you can consider a particular website equivalent to a warehouse. To assign stock items to a particular warehouse, go to Inventory, select the required website, and set the required values. For instance, if you have 500 Alice in Wonderland copies in website A, and only 50 copies in website B, you can go to these websites and enter the inventory information accordingly. As you can see from the grid, the same product now has different inventory values depending on the website it belongs to. Now, if you need to know which warehouse needs to be restocked, you can see this in the Low Stock Report. Multi-location inventory supports Magento's default Low Stock Reporting feature. Just go to Reports, Products, Low Stock, and choose the website you want to get data for. To see reports for all warehouses at once, choose All Websites at the top. Now let us consider an example when we have three websites and only two warehouses. Because multi-location inventory follows Magento's default logic, we take it that websites correspond to your brick and mortar stores in real life. At the same time, store views ought to be used to create multi-language versions of your store, or different layouts and designs. Following this logic, we make the distinction on the website level. Hence, if you have three websites and only two warehouses, you can in fact create two websites and split one of those websites into two store views. Both store views will have common inventory. Now let us assume we have a product, say, a magic wand, that's sold at all three websites, but that's always shipped from one warehouse. Nope, not Hogwarts. In this case, you can place this item into so-called default stock in your Magento. Default stock contains products that are not assigned particular warehouses. No matter which websites these products belong to, their inventory is managed as if they were part of one website. This way, if a customer buys 50 magic wands from website A and 50 magic wands from website B, English or French store view, the total number of magic wands at your default warehouse will be decreased by 100. You can mark any product as belonging to the default stock by going to Inventory and checking Use Default Values. As you may know, Magento allows you to update some product attributes in bulk as part of mass action. Multi-location inventory supports this feature in regards to inventory attributes. If you wish to update inventory attributes for many products at once, here's what you should do. Head to the product grid. Select the products you wish to update. Choose Update Attributes and click Submit. Now choose the required website and go to the Inventory tab. There, you can specify inventory parameters for the products you have just selected. We are talking about such parameters as maximum items in cart, back orders, and others. Besides here, you can place items in the default stock by checking Use Default Values at the top. That's it! This is how multi-location inventory helps you manage Magento stock easily and efficiently.
On top of that, the extension does not interfere with your Magento, doesn't create any new indices or anything of the sort. So if you ever decide to revert to one common inventory in your store, you can do that with ease. Get multi-location inventory risk-free today. Money-back guarantee applies. 